We'll say also on that lake this weekend, the boat wave is alive and well. Mm -hmm. Everybody. Mm -hmm. Boats everywhere, waves everywhere. Even with marine uh, gas at a marine dock, over seven bucks a gallon. Uh, <laughs> that was pricey. Mm -hmm. Very pricey. Mm -hmm. Did you flash anybody? Did you get flashed? Uh, I was pretty mellow. I was more the chaperone. I was with. Uh, I wanted to make sure Gabe was not um, influenced by <laughs> so any of the guys down there. Imagine, imagine. a world yeah. where Matthew is the chaperone. Isn't that something? <laughs> I was the boat driver. I was well behaved. Yeah. If I was driving, I was yeah. not drinking. I waited until I got back to the house. Well, you're smart. To have a cocktail. You're smart. Yeah. That's Wasn't rough. Those are rough could waters. You, yeah. I, I was hoping maybe you could call me this evening when I'm settled in and just give me you know, two, three hours worth of vacation <laughs> stories. Just bring me up and I'll put you on speakerphone. That and, person uh, you live with? Just enjoy your stories. Hey, that person you live with? Yeah. Is she available? Because I would like to marry her only because she makes the most amazing pickles I've ever had in my life. Oh, my God. I, I want to compliment her. Jar. Tell her that those were amazing. Wait we need minute. those jars back. Wait okay. a minute. Those jars back. Where did you get pickles? Kenny brought some for Kenny us. brought some. Well, I didn't get any. Well, I'll drop some off for the... Uh, oh, my God. Uh, uh, for the... Uh, it's the CP? Yeah, the CP. It's just uh, grabbing them and crunching on them. Are they uh, sweet? Uh, they're not sweet. No, no. no, they're dill pickles, and they are fabulous. Mm -hmm. I didn't know there was a pickle exchange. Yes. I my Wait sense out. was that it, it, when I give you a gift, it, it goes where all the other gifts that are given you go, <laughs> and uh, I, I didn't want these to go to waste, so you didn't get a gift. Well, I like a good pickle. Yeah. A little Father's Day pickle, huh? Yeah, yeah I like a good Belly up to the bar, will you? May I give you my observations on Back to the Fifties? You'll recall on Friday I oh, said yes. I would do some reconnoitering. Because you did not see any vehicles up and, until and that, that point. And that continued to be the case throughout the weekend. Really? But I went to the site. I went to the fairgrounds. I drove around. And my, my opinion would be this. It had to be a down year. Uh, factor in inflation. Factor in gas prices. Yeah, prices yeah. Sure. Uh, I, think, I think they might have had a short year. Although I read in the paper they had 11,000 cars. Okay. Well, that's about what they usually have. Mm. But I did not detect that. Okay. What I love about Back to the 50s is if you're looking for a specific car in a specific spot, it's usually in the same spot every year. Right. Yeah. No, I've gotten to know where they yeah, all are. Yeah, they all park in the same exact spot. Well, another year, right? another indication of this is uh, in the middle of the night, or not in the middle of the night, but at night you could drive to the uh, intersection of Snelling and Como, for example, and there was no traffic. Yeah. yeah. On yeah, a, on a usually, back to the 50s weekend. Right. Usually there's... Usually you're waiting four <laughs> lights to get through yep. there. They're hot rodding, coming in and out. Yeah. And we've, we've discussed before that the greatest collection, the world's greatest collection of mansplainers, you can find them at any given car show, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's, that's where all the splaining gets done. Mm -hmm. Would but, it be also... Fa could you also factor in people not wanting to travel to the city? Well, I believe that would be covered by inflation and gas prices. Well, I'm saying things like crime having something to do no, with it. No, I don't think so. Okay. Do, get... That's not a notorious crime-ridden area. Yeah, nobody's stealing the catalytic converter off a 57 Chevy. You get phrases like, uh, you know what I'd do if I was you, is I'd pull that 283 out of there and drop a 450 four-barrel overhead cam, uh, do deucey, uh, this, that, and the other, and then put an SS symbol on the side, and nobody would know the difference. Can I get another beer? But it was uh, it was Jesus. it was a very it was very different this year. I thought it was a very light crowd. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong, and I apologize. Let me tell you something about a power glide transmissions, pal. Sit down here. This is going to take a while. Okay. You can find a lot of that there. Well, there's a lot of sitting that takes place at those things. Yes, yes. they got the sitting custom chairs and, and, and yep. sitting and splaining. Uh, 